Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about 3.9 related rates. In the related rate problem, the idea is to compute the rate of change of one quantity in terms of the rate of change of another quantity. And the procedure is to find an equation that relates the two quantities and then use the chain rule to differentiate both sides with respect to time. Example 1. Air is being pumped into a spherical balloon so that its volume increases at the rate of 100 cubic centimeter per second. How fast is the radius of the balloon increasing when the diameter is 50 cm? When we do problem solving, the first step is to understand the problem. This includes reading the problem carefully, identifying the given and the unknown, and introducing suitable notation. First, let's draw a picture and understand what's going on. Over here, we have a balloon and it's in the shape of a sphere. And air is being pumped into this balloon. And the balloon is going to expand and get bigger. And we know that the rate of increase of the volume of air is 100 cubic centimeter per second. And we want to know how fast is the radius of the balloon increasing when the diameter is 50 cm. First, let's introduce some variables. We let R to be the radius of the balloon. The radius is changing as the time changes. For time, we're going to use the notation t. R is changing as t changes. So its rate of change with respect to time t. Remember that rate of change of a variable with respect to another variable is a derivative. Rate of change of r with respect to the time t over here is represented as dr dt. So this represents the rate of change of the radius with respect to the time t. We also need to introduce a notation for the volume. Let's give it a notation v. The rate of change of the volume v with respect to time t is a derivative. And let's denote that as dv dt. It represents the rate of change of v with respect to the time t. Let's think about what are given and organize the information. So we are given volume is increasing at a rate of 100 cubic centimeter per second. And we are trying to find how fast is the radius increasing when the diameter is 50 centimeter. For example, is the radius increasing at 1 cm per second or 2 cm per second, etc. Think about what do you get. And also think about what do you want in this problem. Those are the two questions that you need to think about when you're trying to solve a wall problem. So what do we have? Well, we are given the volume is increasing at this rate. That is the rate of change of V with respect to time t, which is dV dt. So dV dt equal to 100 cubic centimeter per second. Now, what do you want to find in this problem? You want to find how fast is the radius increasing when the diameter is 50 cm. Well, how fast? 
Whenever you see how fast is the rate of change, you're looking for rate of change with respect to the time t. So we're looking for the rate of change of the radius with respect to the time t, which is dr dt. Now we can make a deal. To get from what we have to what we want. To solve any wall problems, the first step is to declare variables. So we let t be the time in second and let v be the random and let r be the radius. It is very important to declare variables in the beginning so then you can use those variables later in solving the problems. Now I know some of you are learning computer programming. If you don't declare variables, your program will have an error and it won't run. Step B. Remember that we are trying to find dr dt and we are giving dv dt. So in order to connect these two, we first connect v and r by the formula for the random of a sphere. v is equal to 4 over 3 times pi r cubed. Remember that we're trying to find dr dt and we're given dv dt. Both are dual t with respect to the time t. So we can differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to the time t and we'll get one side have dv dt, the other side will have dr dt, so we can relate them. Differentiate both sides with respect to t. On this right side, 4 over 3 pi is a constant multiple. We can bring it in front of the dual t. We now have 4 over 3 pi times the dual t r q with respect to t. The dual t r q with respect to t. Notice that the r here is a function of the time t. The outer function here is the cube function. Differentiate this outer function with respect to r, we get 3r squared. The inner function is r, which is a function of the time t. Differentiate that with respect to the time t, we get dr dt. So we differentiate rq with respect to the time t using the chain rule. Putting all this together, we get this is 4 over 3 times pi times 3r squared times dr dt. Notice that dr dt is a rate of change, and dv dt is also a rate of change. In this equation, we have related these two rate of change. So we call this type of problem related rays. Both dv dt and dr dt are rays of change and they are related. To solve for dr dt, we substitute dv dt equal to 100. And for r, since they say that diameter at the moment was 50 cm, so the radius r is 25 cm. So we substitute r to be 25. We can now solve for dr dt. dr dt is equal to 
one hundred divided by four pi times twenty five square, which is simplified to one over twenty five cm per second, and this is the exact answer. An approximation that is point zero one two seven centimeter per second, and that is an approximation answer. And at the end, don't forget to write a complete sentence, a statement, to answer the question. The radius of the balloon is increasing at the rate of one over twenty-five pi centimeter per second, which is about point zero one two seven centimeter per second.